Buddy. I'm a Katrina Clark Jacobson from Denmark, and uh, I'm a hammer thrower. And uh, I'm just gonna show you guys a day um, here at training camp. I'm uh, currently in uh, Portugal with my group, um, and I just woke up, and soon I'm be I'm ready for some breakfast. Um, but yeah, we are gonna train here for 16 days and today I'm gonna show you um, two of my sessions one um, throwing session and one weight session and then just show you a typical day here in the, in Portugal at camp um, so usually we train for three days and then we have a rest day and then this is continued through the whole camp um yeah so i'm excited to show you this so i've got to tell you that um all meals at this hotel is um included and uh, that's really nice because then you don't have to bother uh making your own food for every meal you just have to go to the restaurant and sit down and relax so yeah i really appreciate that um, and yeah, now we're heading to breakfast. So yeah, you can just follow. what I normally bring for a uh, throwing session. So the most important thing is of course my shoes and then some towels to wipe up my my shoes because the place with a uh, throwing is very dusty and yeah I'm gonna show you later. Um, and then of course some water and some electrolytes because the weather here in Portugal is kind of hot. It's around 25 degrees um, so that's why I also bring this sunscreen because yeah well I get easily red so this is not this is mostly the most important thing um, and then some tape and a shirt if I get sunburned and then my restitution meal for after training and of course my massage gun for stretching and restitution after training. So yeah, that's kind of it. And now I'm ready and packed for my first session. This is a view of the throwing area here in Portugal. We have um, three hammer cages over here, which I'm throwing from. And then just right next to them, we have two shot put rings, shot put. And then in the other end, we have five cages for discus. 
So the difference between discus and hammer cages are that the rings are bigger for discus and the net is larger for hammer because it's kind of more dangerous when we throw this one and it's kind of getting higher I guess. So this area has a weight room too. It's in this building, which I'm gonna show you later for my afternoon session. And then if you wanna be on a stadium, have a track, stuff like that, there is a stadium like five minutes in that direction. So that's really nice. Well, I think I'm gonna get started on my throwing session, doing some warm up, and then I will do 30 throws with the 4K. So let's go. is uh, the struggle of throwing a hammer into the net and as you can see behind me here two of my friends are struggling getting one of the hammers down so right now I'm just glad that it isn't me but uh, I think I'm gonna go help them out to see if we can can get them down and um, so we can get them home with us too so Now I just finished training and uh, I think I'm gonna take a nap. Normally between sessions I rest, watch movies, sit on our balcony, get a little sun and then enter the shower after. Um, and then I also have to do some homework because I have an exam here at camp. So. That sucks, but it still has to be done. Um, but yeah, now I think I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to watch some movie or something with some of my teammates. Yeah.
Um, so this is the weight room. We got some warm-up bikes and it's kind of big here. There's a lot of podiums and racks and bars so we can be a lot of people in here. And the good thing about um, this throwing area is that it it's only throwing going on here. So that's really nice and we got a beautiful view too. So yeah, it's a good place to be. Um, looking forward to doing some weight now. So yeah, let's go. as well that is a day again tomorrow but yeah thanks for watching and this is uh, my training camp here in uh, Portugal I hope you enjoy it.